Yo, what's up guys, your boy DQ Dice. We're here, first video on my channel for this year. I'm gonna try and do it both ways. I'm gonna try and go on Omni Gaming and on my channel. If it gets too stressful, then I'm gonna just focus on Omni. But for over here, it's not gonna be whatever I wanna post. Um, and as far as I guess I'm mad and I'm going to be more competitive over here. I'm, I might open packs here, but this is going to be mostly my PS4 team and I'm going to grind out. Um, I'm also doing tips over here as well, as well as over on Omni Gaming. I haven't decided on how I'm going to do that. And also, again, if you guys don't know why I'm, I'm speaking like this, is because I, I was in an incident, and somewhere down the road I'll explain it to you guys, but for now, um, because things are going on, um, I prefer to just, like, keep it to myself for now, but I just know that I'm okay, and I'm, I'm gonna recover within a month or so, so this won't last for too long. However, the video today I want to bring to you guys is kind of important because people, it was always clear like, okay, some people want to do Mutt Master, there's sets to do, and it's, there's kind of like a formula, right? There's solos, but this year is different with the Mutt levels, and because um, to get Mutt Master, there's objectives, and then other people want to go to competitive or but a lot of people open packs, and the market always changes. And especially in the beginning of the year, you don't want to make a mistake selling a card, and it's going to go up in price. So, this is the video, uh, this is what I'm going to, my advice, and what I decided to do. So, while I'm building my team, I did a pack opening and all that, that's going to be on Omni Gaming. But how I decided to build my team, it's kind of like how I do it in years past. Where I'm going to just build off what I have without packs and sell everything. And then kind of like play with my coins or do whatever. However, what I decided to do was, and it makes sense. Um, and due to the, some of those objectives for, um, for the Sean Taylor Mutt Master. You have to play online. That's the only way. So, what I decided to do was build a solid team. So not completely like what I did in years past, where I would have bronze and silver old linemen and all that. No. Especially because I'm seeing that rating matters a lot. So what I decided to do was build a team. Build a team that's solid. A lot of high overall golds that are easy to get. And also some of these elites. Um, I pulled James Winston, so he's an exception to the rule. But like Alan Hearns, he's one of the first few elites that you could uh, possibly choose from. Between him, Cole Beasley, and Captain Munderland, and Brian McCain. He's one of the few elites that you could pull. Um, so I decided to go Alan Hearns just because he's a Jaguar personally and because I know I'm gonna get corners down the line but we'll speak on defense later so Tevin Coleman that was given to me but LaDainian Thompson can very easily be upgraded and he's a great running back I have no um I guess what's the word I'm looking for hate towards him I, I absolutely love him to be honest so that's another solid pickup Linemen, they're pretty cheap. I would say st stick to around the 70 to 75 range. If you want to get to the next tier, cool. I wouldn't go anything past that. And then, this was somebody that I had pulled. I'm looking to sell him, but I'm waiting to see the right price to sell him at. I want to sell him around 20k. He's kind of like flowing in between the two. I want a solid 20k for him. So I'll wait. I have somebody ready to, get, to come in his place. And then, this is my level 11 Mutt level reward. 
you were able to pick, or level 10 maybe, you were able to pick from Joe Staley, another right tackle named Rob Fagustine, maybe, maybe you guys could correct me in the comment section, and Hakeem Hicks, left end, and Chris Long, right end. I decided to go with an alignment just to better round my team and focus on one side of the ball first. And also because my mud squad, my main mud squad team, I'm the offensive captain, so I decided to focus on the offense more. So, my team is just in the drop, obviously. So you get from the solos, the kickoff solos. So, and then this well, this was from playing mud squads. If you win four mud squad games, you could get a random elite player. Dante Moncrief was the random elite player that I got. Um, so again, this is just a solid team. I pulled Tyler Lockett. So a lot of the, a lot of these guys, Alan Alan Robinson, solid backup, Julio, kickoff solo, Marshall Lynch, kickoff solo. So you could build a solid team, but the thing is, you don't want to. You don't need like crazy elites right now. Elites are not a must. Quarterback maybe, Re receivers even maybe. But everybody else, you want to just well around your team and get a, a decent team and take it into head to head. Obviously, you get the Chet Bailey, and then depending on the the team player that you chose, um, I I chose and I I'm starting to upgrade Telvin Smith. Um, and everybody else on defense is from a pack opener. But again, they're not expensive. They're not crazy expensive. They're not like high-end golds like Wilson, who might be like a couple thousand. So, I would just budget your coins. It's very easy, very easy to get coins due to all the little things you get in between from completing objectives. There's extra challenges within the solos that you may get 500 coins for, and all this adds up. To building your team, and then you 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 can very easily take a whole solid gold team into seasons, and with a little bit of a scheme, just playing the right way and playing smart, you'll be fine. But that's my advice. I pulled a lot of elites, a decent amount, not a lot, but a decent amount, and I don't really have that many anymore. I, I try to sell most of them. Again, the only ones that I can sell are Spain, Winston, and Reed. Those are the only ones I can sell. I can't sell anybody else. So, and like I said, Kevin Coleman was given to me. So, just try and stack your coins as much as you can and just build a solid team with budget cards. Because nobody's got, everybody's gonna have like bronze teams. Some people not gonna open packs. So st start to key in on certain positions that you're starting to be weak at, and focus on those. But um, I don't want to continue making this video any longer. But that's just my take and my direction that I chose to go in. Let me know your thoughts. And again, I appreciate the support, you guys. It, everything means a lot to me, and it's helping me recover. So. Hit that like button for me, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out guys.